So I want to talk more about how do you elevate that appearance without breaking the bank, without bran banking, and without breaking that little piggy coin machine that you have or that piggy bank, the piggy bank. So, I mean, appearance is essentially the first thing that people see whenever you are walking down the street or walking into a corporate office or when you um, are at a doctor's appointment. If you are someone who battles with constantly looking uh, beautiful or you feel like you're not um, gorgeous enough, it's probably because you haven't had the opportunity to look uh, look presentable. And the reason is because it's not because you can't afford it, it's because you are constantly thinking about what other people are thinking of your fashion statements. So I'm going to talk more about how to avoid that aspect of your life and how to feel good about that appearance. So, so appearance is essentially very important. First thing that people see. And when you know that you have gathered every single thing from the appearance, then that means that you're going to be walking with so much confidence, well, you're going to be walking straight and with your chin up because there's literally nothing missing. So if you want to be walking with your chin up and your back straight, then you're going to have to learn about appearance and how, what you can do to elevate it. So without any more chit chatting, let's get started. So the very first thing that I always like to tell people is to take care of your dental hygiene. Many people are like, well, it takes a long time. It takes this and that. Beauty takes time. And essentially, it is it's something that you always have to do on a regular basis if you really want to look good. So brush your, your teeth twice or three times a day. Quit smoking. Quit vaping. Stop drinking so many cups of coffee every single day. I love to drink coffee, but I try to only take coffee whenever I'm soaking the bread on there. So soaking the bread with coffee. I try not to drink coffee every every single day, but I mean, it, it's so key hard. But uh, drinking water more than drinking coffee can essentially help you that with that thir thirst. So have your cleanings twice a year. Don't skip on that appointment a, and use dental floss. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. You can always buy cheap floss, dental dental floss, and you're not going to be breaking the bank. Smile the first thing that people see whenever you are having a conversation with them. So you don't want to be like this every time you are talking to someone because you didn't, didn't do proper hygiene or because you didn't fix those teeth. Having a good smile is an investment and essentially is what is your smile essentially the thing that backs people away from you or makes people want to get into your life so that is that number numero dos numero dos is um, essentially taking care of your hair and taking showers every single day i don't care when you're taking showers but as long as you're taking a shower at least once a day that's gonna elevate your appearance. You're gonna have, you're gonna be more refreshed. You're gonna be more awake. And essentially what that does is that you don't have to, like you're not looking bad. You're not gonna be smelling bad if you take a shower every single day. So do it in the morning, do it in the afternoon, depending on your schedule. But if you start doing that, you will be elevating that appearance. So start doing that. Number, uh, number three is hair care. This is a very big one because growing up I didn't know how to take care of my, my hair and there's countless video tutorials now on curly hair but back in the days it was really hard to maintain curly hair and I didn't have the money and definitely my mom didn't know how to style it properly because she only had straight hair. Now that I'm growing up I do so many things with my hair and I, I appreciate it and I, I just realized that my hair has grown so much better. I use mousse, I, lo I lose, I use leave-in conditioners, I use oil, I use hair mask, I use uh, better shampoos and conditioners. Back then I would only use the conditioner and shampoo that my mom would, would use and that's totally wrong because we had different hair textures and different hair types. So 
that was really bad on my part and I didn't know I didn't know much so and not a lot of people really like to transition from from the hair that they have into curly hair I don't see many many girls out there with their curly hair there's girls out there with straight hair and they continuously have that straight hair they don't want to go into that curly hair so being a curly a curly hair girl ain't for the week because many people say it's beautiful and it's kind and it's so cute but no one knows the time and the money the effort that you have to put into it you have to wear bonnets you have to hair have coconut oil tea tree oil have almond oil all these types of oils for your hair then wear a bonnet then have a hair mask then have a really good mousse and after that you're gonna have to have remember that you have to have your good shampoos and good conditioners and have a hair mask and have a hair treatment with avocado and eggs and wear that every single week and have those treatments i mean it's just time consuming and not a lot of us have that kind of time because we're constantly working or we're constantly in school so but uh your hair is very important is the first is one of the first things that people see whenever you walk into a room number i forgot what number we are but hopefully three or, or four make sure you take care of your clothes make sure you wash it properly if you don't know how to wash it properly there's tons of video tutorials out there that teach you how to how to wash properly i mean separate your your clothes based on how dark they are or how light they are you don't want to combine all of them at the same time because text because clothes have dyes and those dyes can get into other clothes that shouldn't have those kind of dyes so make sure you take care of that and another thing how to elevate your appearance is ironing your clothes if you don't like doing that then what i recommend for you is definitely get a steamer or number two get yourself if you're finishing doing the laundry if the cycle of drying has stopped make sure that at that moment you hang everything up as quickly as you can possibly can because what that does is that essentially your clothes are not going to get wrinkly sometimes it's very hard because you have you know you have the weekend and typically on the weekend you do this and then in the afternoon what you want to do is go to a party and then you forget that you left that at the dryer so put a, a time on your a time a clock or a watch time run your time on your phone and make sure that you have that you remember yourself that you have to you have to take your clothes out of the dryer and hang it up really quickly and then then make sure you have really good shoes that are clean the good pair of shoes are the ones that look decent but also are not dirty we can't be standing in dirty shoes it, it just takes quick five minutes three minutes to scrub your shoes and clean them up and polish them if you don't like doing i don't like i don't like cleaning my my shoes whenever i'm getting ready because th that's another step that i need to do so typically what i do is whenever i'm doing my laundry i'm gonna look on the different shoes that need to take uh, that i need to clean them up because what that does is saving so much time and then once I am getting ready for a party, I have them clean and ready to go. And that's that's such a, a really good hack for me. Don't wait until you have a party in order to in order to clean those shoes because you don't have enough time. And let's be honest, we we as women run out of time really quickly when we're getting ready. So that is that. Another thing that I love to do to elevate appearance is, is essentially doing my eyebrows. I love getting my eyebrows done. I get them threaded. I know it was hard. It's hard. It's difficult. Man, like the, the little hairs from the bottom are so hard to get. But trust me, once you start getting into that, once you start having, you know, that routine that you have to get ready, that you need to get your eyebrows done and threaded what that does is that if you do them consistently if you do your eyebrows consistently it's not going to hurt as much because you're already used to that process but if you wait two to three months to get your eyebrows done then it's going to hurt and you definitely 
won't want to go and do it more often so do them often don't do them when you're on your period because it hurts a lot more trust me and i've done it that countless times so don't make that mistake another thing that i love i love to elevate my appearance is wearing the best pants i can you not my pants are the first thing that people see in my opinion when it comes to my wardrobe because when you have pants, your legs are essentially, I would argue, the largest the largest part of your body. That's for me, at least. And when I have a really good, good fitted jeans or good fitted pants, my favorite pants are satin pants. When I have those, I just feel confident. I feel like a baddie. I feel like a baddie. And no one can tell, tell me otherwise because I really, really love the fact that they accentuate my waist my little butt and also my two legs and i just love it i mean my legs are, are very very skinny but i really love those pants i i have i have two or three pants that i really love how they look on me and man i'm getting i'm getting ready on on how to make some some really good pants because i'm learning how to sew because i just think people should learn how to do that um and it's essentially one of my hobbies as of right now so that is that i mean those are the things that you need to do in order to elevate your appearance i mean the other thing that i forgot was to talk about skincare skincare is essentially so important i like how gen alpha is taking care of their own skin and but the thing is you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to really good have that appear have that skin type that you dream of there's things outside of your control like acne or scarring or sunburn for the most part one of my recommendations that you need to do is be very consistent with your skin uh, skin routine and that's essentially removing that makeup at night to get yourself a good makeup cleanser three get yourself a really good cleanser whether that's an oil cleanser or a water-based cleanser and after that get yourself a, a, a moisture a toner then a serum that's for your skin type for for the skin that you want to essentially what you want to fix from you and yeah and then from there a good moisturizer and then you can go to sleep and then you can do the same thing at in the morning if you want to wash your, your face with just water you can also do that in the morning and then essentially have a good toner good serum and moisturizer and never forget that sunscreen because sunscreen will protect you from sun from the sun so I, I would say take care of that appearance essentially makes confidence a lot, a lot easier. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.